mayor join us this evening and appreciate the support that he's provided to our startup efforts. A native of Alexandria, Mary Yule graduated from T.C. Williams High School and earned a bachelor's degree in accounting. He began his business career as an accountant in an Alexandria construction company in 1972 and within eight years he advanced to the position of vice president and controller, ultimately having responsibility for all contracting, financial, and administrative functions. Mary Yules began serving the city of Alexandria as an elected official in 1994 as a member of the Alexandria City Council. He was re-elected in, in 97 and 2000, and in May of 2003, he was elected mayor to be re-elected, and then to be re-elected again. So we're delight delighted to have him here this evening. He serves on a variety of committees, many supporting our transportation um, efforts in the area, as well as a lot of activities regarding our, our supporting our youth. He also serves on the Governor's Council on Virginia's Future. The first time that I met Mary Yules was when I attended his Unity Breakfast shortly after I moved here to, to Alexandria. Next week is his eighth annual Unity Breakfast, which is has the theme, Building Our Strength Through Our Diverse Abilities. It's next Wednesday, the 23rd, at the Mark Center. And you can go on the website and still get tickets, right? If you haven't attended one of the Unity Breakfasts, I strongly encourage it. I'm delighted to present Mary Yules this evening. Thank you very much for those fine comments. And, um, you know, some of the kids and others wanted to be chit-chatting while everybody else was speaking, and I was part of that group only because the kids kept coming up and wanted to know if I was the mayor. And, uh, but uh, because I am the mayor, I'm going to ask for a little bit of courtesy and politeness and just ask folks to be quiet just for a few moments. I promise you I won't be more than two hours talking to you. And then you can go home and watch the football games and the basketball games and everything else. But um, this is such a wonderful, wonderful uh, occasion tonight. And um, I want to thank everybody for coming out, whether you're a business owner here in the neighborhood of the community. Oh, <coughs> excuse me whether you're a resident or whether you're uh, an elected official or you're just somebody with curiosity and you want to know what's going on. And the, the reality of it all is is that you need to know what's going on because here in our land view in Tiraragra area, a lot is happening. A lot of good things, a lot of positive things. And you know what? It's about time. Um, I've lived in this city my entire life. I won't tell you how old I am, but I'll tell you that I've lived in this city for more than 61 years. And um, I have, uh, I've always uh, seen a lot lot of things happening in our land area, but yet I've always wanted to see more good things happen. Uh, and, uh, and, and tonight is a, is a strong indication that opportunities are abound. And it's about time that the business community and the leaders here and others have come together to form an organization to advocate to make sure that progress takes place and that things happen. So I want to extend thanks to the um, president of the, or the new organization, Nelson Zavala. Again, congratulations and thank you, Nelson. And to the executive director, you've heard from her earlier, Doniella Miller, and everyone else for their hard work. Um, tonight, again, we welcome the Orlando Chilarga Business Association kickoff celebration. Um, I don't see any of my colleagues from City Council present yet. Um, I know there's other events happening around the city, but I do see a couple of former members of the City Council that I want to acknowledge their presence. Uh, now, she's not sitting there any longer. She got up, but sit, former City Councilwoman Joyce Woodson uh, was here, but she's not still here. Oh, she is. All right. And I see one of my other former colleagues on City Council, Councilman Lonnie Rich. Lonnie, welcome. We also have present with us Stephanie Landrum, who's the Senior Vice President with the Alexander Economic Development Partnership. Stephanie. The Economic Development Partnership played a very strong and vital role in helping to bring this, organ this new organization together. And uh, we had present earlier, pr prior to my arrival, I was at another event at the Boys and Girls Club, but we had Brandis Collins and uh, Collis and um, Meyer Quinteras from the city's planning office who, were, who, were, who was present. Um, on behalf of the City of Alexandria, I want to congratulate the Orlando Chiralaga Business Association on their accomplishments of, to create a business association here in the community. 
The citizen groups in this community have been active in doing great work for many, many years. There have been efforts in the past to organize and to coordinate the business owners, but tonight we're very pleased that these efforts have finally resulted in this new group that will contribute to the many good things happening in this part of the city. And believe it or not, this part of the city is very vital, important, and instrumental to the rest of the city of Alexandria as a whole. Um, you may not know this, but when we look at the city of Alexandria, it's a growing city with almost 150,000 people. We're very small in terms of the land base or the square footage of the city. We're less than 16 square miles. But everybody focuses on Old Town, Delray, the West End. You rarely hear a little bit about Arlandria, but you know what? Arlandria is important to the rest of the growth and success of the city as a whole. And, uh, uh, and, and so this new organization, this business organization, which will have citizen uh, membership as aso associate membership opportunities, will be the group that will advocate to help make positive change uh, and, 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 and growth for this community. We have an impressive showing from the business community here tonight. There are many types of businesses represented from the pioneers and trailblazers uh, in our Landry community. By that we mean people have been fighting and digging in the trenches for many, many years to keep this community and neighborhood moving forward. Um, like the RITs and the Birchmere, let's give a round of applause to those businesses and their representatives. To those that are relatively new to the community, I see a lot of familiar faces, but I'm excited to meet new ones, and I'm glad to see that the whole business community becoming engaged. And that's really what it's about. It's about coming together, organizing, being partners, collaboration, and making a difference. Major changes have begun to take place in surrounding areas like Sherlington, Crystal City, and Potomac Yard, all of which should have positive impacts in our, on our Landria. You heard earlier, um, someone made reference to the fact that they love li living here and their involvement and participation is due to the tremendous diversity that our Landria has. The city of Alexandria has a lot of diversity and we cherish our diversity. We're very proud of that fact. But you know what? Just because things are beginning to take place to, sh uh, to be formed, uh, change is, on, uh, is, is in the air in terms of some new redevelopment opportunities and business expansion and growth, doesn't mean that the diversity goes away. What it means is an opportunity for us to preserve the diversity, to, provide, to preserve the um, uh, affordable uh, and workforce housing opportunities that we have here. It's an opportunity uh, for economic uh, expansion. It's an opportunity for empowerment, people to become empowered. In other words, to have a voice in their neighborhood and their community. So often, the elected officials, me and the rest of the city council, when we're in meetings, we make decisions that affect everyone in the city, but rarely do we get people that are impacted by the decisions that we make coming um, to talk to us and tell us what they think and what they, th what they believe should happen. So empowerment means that you have a voice, and then finally, um, you'll have ownership in your community in terms of what should happen and, and how things should move forward. In the coming decades, we'll see increased interest from the development community right here in Arlandria, starting with the proposal to redevelop the Mount Vernon Village to be considered by the City Council in December. So it's especially timely that this business association has formed now. In anticipation of these changes, it is critical that this group, ACBA, is now in place to represent the important perspectives of the business community and the residents of, of, as a whole. So as mayor and along with my colleagues on the city council, we're delighted to recognize the official formation of the Arlandria Chiralarga Business Association and we look forward to their insights, advice, participation and the many community discussions that we will have over the coming decade. ACBA will be in good company with the other organizations in the city, like the Old Town Business Association, the Delray Business Association, the West End Business Association, and the Eisenhower Partnership. As community leaders, we look to these organizations for their views on issues impacting their parts of the city, just as we look to you here in Arlandria. These groups have grown 
and been successful over the years based on the, their, the efforts of their volunteer members. And that's a big, important thing to, to recognize. Volunteer members. Nobody gets paid to do anything anymore because there's very few dollars that go around. So you have to volunteer to help make a difference. So it's important that those businesses and property owners here tonight get involved and stay involved. So in closing, I want to congratulate you on your kickoff and I look forward to attending many more ACBA events in the future. And with that, go ACBA, go Orlando. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, for joining us tonight. While he's here, we wanted to take the opportunity to have all of the members of ACBA to come up and get a, phot a photograph with the mayor. So if all the members would please come up into this corner so we can take a quick photograph.